Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. An observation, and this observation is not, how should I say, hard to, uh, to test if it's true or not. Have you noticed that all the countries, all the countries that are on the wrong side of you know, love and happiness, which is the West, are independent? and sovereign and the ones that form the club Al Capone's club United States of America which is the European Union and NATO are are vassal states why they say vassals well I'm going to show you here about five articles and these five articles we're going to show you I'm going to show you some countries that are considered not really kosher which is not really democratic, not really independent, human rights violations, dictatorship kind of bad people, but they all, they all interact with one another from equal footing. You may say, well, no, okay, if they don't, then certainly none in the Western Europe uh, act on the same footing with the United States of America. Why? To start with, they all have U.S. troops on its territories, or most of them, and that's not the same uh, on the other uh, proposition. So I will um, make a point first. I'm going to show you the allies, and then I'm going to show you the axis. The axis is only one, which is the United States of America, and the allies are the bad dudes with all their undemocratic and all you know the human rights violations. Somehow they treat one another with more respect than then say United States treats um, Germany or I don't know France or any country United States doesn't treat anybody as equal all right let's as equal yeah yes equal yes equal so I'm still going to start with this article from today January 1st 2023 Fox News Kim Jong-un and Xi Jinping declared 2024 year of DPRK China friendship. China has bolstered relations with the Hermit Kingdom in recent years as a tactical alliance against Western interests. Now, it's not that China tells uh, North Korea what to do or vice versa, whereas the United States tells South Korea what to do, tells Japan what to do. That's a difference of relationship. Who's the subordinate and who's the boss? Who's the master? All right, that's one article. I'm not going to read the article because it's all, you know, they are bad and we are good. It says dictator Kim Jong-un and President Xi Jinping are spending 2024 20, celebrating their country's friendship. The supreme leader of North Korea and highest ranking official of the Chinese Communist Party swapped declarations of DPRK China friendship as the world welcomed in the new year this blah 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 and it says here through the year of DPRK China friendship the two par parties and the two countries will further promote exchange and visits in all fields including politics economy and culture further deepen their ties of friendships and unity and intensify their cooperation in the joint struggle to safeguard regional and global peace and stability, thus ending a new page to the history of the DPRK-China relations. So that means they're going deeper, faster and better. Now the next one is this. Reuters, Russia-North Korea summit, comrades Putin and Kim sent rivals a warning. So this was on the September 14th. These guys met and they were happy about it to exchange many, many things that the Westerners look Oh my God, what is this? As equals, as equals. Okay, my friends, as equals. Now, uh, this is an observation and I'm not done. I have three more articles. So whatever practical cooperation emerges from this week's summit between Russia, President Putin and Kim Jong-un, their deepening relationship is aimed at sending their rivals, the Axis, a warning, an analyst say. Got that? So, so far, we got China, Kim Jong-un, North Korea, and we have, uh, what's his name, um, Russia. And we're going to see Russia, China now, right? Where is it? Let me see if I get it right. 
right here. Sputnik from yesterday. Putin and Xi Jinping wish each other Happy New Year. Very happy. And it says, under our joint leadership, political mutual trust between the two sides has further deepened. Strategic cooperation has become closer and mutually beneficial cooperation has continuously achieved new results. Oh, God, got it? So we got China, this is the allies, China, North Korea, Russia, Russia, China, and someone else comes in the fray. Let me show you who's that someone else. Another bad dude, but hey, independent, independent. Iran and Russia officially ditch dollar. Russia today. The sanctioned countries have agreed to trade in their national current currencies. Why should they use the master's currency? They said, no, we're not going to do it. Iran and Russia has, have officially abandoned the US dollar for mutual settlements after the countries finalized an agreement to trade in the ruble and the uh, rial. Iranian news, pop, pop, pop. The agreement was sealed during a meeting of Russia between the heads of the central banks of the two countries, the outlet said. So we have Iran. Now it is no, no uh, mystery that Iran and, uh, and uh, Russia are together. Again, not as subordinate and master like all the relationship, relationship between the United States and everybody else is in Europe, Australia, uh, New Zealand, um, South Korea, and Japan. And okay, so I will include also Canada as well. Now we got some other, other little piece of thing that comes here. And here it is, another bad dude in the Allies, Sputnik. Lavrov and Dr. Jai Shankar talks. Moscow and New Delhi to boost specially privileged ties. Got that? All right. So they, uh, they, you have these countries, what? China, North Korea, Iran, Russia, and India. Bad dude, dudes, all of them. But somehow they all treat one another equal, like as equals. And they forge relationship based on mutual or interest and mutual interest in relation with what? With a threat. And now let's move to the other, the other part, which is the United States of America. When United States of America, I'm going to make my point, says something to European Union, the European Union does it, or the European countries do it. Anybody. I've never heard anybody of these countries, Canada, uh, New Zealand, uh, South Korea, uh, South Korea, Japan, um, Australia, European countries saying no, no, maybe with the exception of Hungary and sometimes Poland, but not the United States of America, because Poland is a Trojan horse. Okay, so we have these countries, including now the Nordic, Nordic states are just uh, nothing. They're all under the US control. Now, this is just political. Militarily, United States open now uh, bases, what, in Finland, Sweden, everywhere their troops stationed, but not the other way around. Those countries, Finland doesn't have troops to defend the Western, um, how do you call it? Western um, flank of NATO, which is at the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> they don't have it. Nobody has it. Why is that? Subordinate behavior. I've never heard countries in Europe telling the United States, no, 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 rarely, rarely. It shows a unidirectional uh, uh, command. United States, everybody else. Now you can say, yes, but we have our freedom. What kind of freedom you have? If United States tomorrow, if United States tomorrow, let's say, wants to paralyze Europe, I'm just giving a scenario, wants militarily to paralyze Europe, it can do it in two hours, three hours. Paralyze it just like this. That means occupy it. Militarily, if they want, they don't have to bring many troops here. They already got the people in power in Europe as being their little yes, sir. But it's not the same thing with the other guys, the bad dudes. You say, well, but they oppress their people. Really? Okay, well, what do you do more than those guys do? Talk? Talk more or eat better? What kind of freedoms do you think you have more than, let's say, a uh, Russian? What kind, of, what kind of freedoms do you think you have? Go to work tomorrow and say, I think a man is a man, a woman is a woman, a biological man, nothing else. Go tomorrow to work and say that. 
how many of you will not get fired? Okay, that's just an example. That should not be in a free country. I am right here. If I say something true, true about certain uh, or one organization and one country or something like that, or if I say many, many things regarding many things here that are true, YouTube will close me. Now, I don't think that is uh, freedom, is it? And many, many other examples. We eat better here is true, but we don't know what we eat. Could be shit, looking like food, smelling like food, tasting like food, but it's shit. As I said, we are here kind of in, the, in a um, cell, in a jail. We eat better, but we are in a jail. Those guys over there eat not as well, but at least are more independent. I'm not talking about, not talking about only the, the people inside, because I'm not going to go into, oh, you know what, I make a claim, those are freer than us. No, <laughs> but here we have more of an illusion that we are so free compared with them. They say, well, we have free elections. Really? You really think that? Okay, all right, good for you, go and vote. Yeah, you have free elections, you go and vote, that's true. Your vote is there, you vote, they allow you to vote. Now, who counts the vote? All right, my friends. So you got the Axis, one country, United States of America and everybody else, because I'm not going to call them, uh, you know, we are the allies, the bad dudes are the Axis. No, I'm going to switch it. These guys are the Axis, actually, and the other ones are the allies. Anyway, here is my friends. I just have this little, I don't know, um, observation that actually those countries that I mentioned they interact with one another as equal. And these guys don't. You look at Romania. Romania should be equal with the United States of America in NATO. Do you think Romania will dare to say anything to the United States of America? And then why not? Are the Americans smarter? No, they are stronger. <laughs> That's what it is. And the other guys know their place. But here, the same. Russia is stronger than Iran. Or, I don't know, China should be stronger than, than uh, North Korea. And still, they treat one another as Russia always told their Western Europe, don't treat us like we are somehow inferior. We're not. That we want to be just equal. We want to be treated as equal. No. Even the United States of America in, on its plantation doesn't treat the countries as equal, which it has United States here, the master. You got the plantation countries, and then you have one house servant, Great Britain. That's all. But still, it's a hierarchy, but it's a point beyond which the hierarchy stops. Like the, the slaves on the plantations cannot become masters. It's only one. Over there in the other side, you have a group of countries, equal. No, no, just think about it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.